interesting, type 2 diabetes is very controversial. Is it possible? Absolutely, but don't do a happy dance quite yet. Reversing diabetes doesn't mean you get to return to your previous lifestyle. It takes work and dedication. It's dependent on factors like how many years you've had diabetes, the degree of severity, and your genes. You likely need to lose some weight, work out regularly, and you eat nutritiously, all good things. These lifestyle changes uh, need to be permanent, a total commitment to living healthy all the time. In fact, one study reported 10% of its participants within one year could either stop taking their diabetes medications or their blood sugar levels improved to the point where they no longer were in the diabetic range. Amazing. Now, they ate between 1,200 and 1,800 calories a day, exercised 175 minutes per week, and were provided counseling and lifestyle education. You'll have a higher chance of success if you're diagnosed early or have prediabetes. A government study looking at 3,000 overweight Americans with prediabetes found those who lost just 5 to 7 percent of body weight had a 58 percent reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. How amazing is that? Now, you can't go wrong with making healthy lifestyle changes, so here are my prescriptions as always. Number one, find out your blood sugar number so you know your baseline. Then, with the help of your doctor, set realistic goals to get those numbers into a healthy range. Also, don't try to lose weight with fad diets. They don't last long term, as I said before, and may not provide all the nutrients you need. And meet with a registered dietitian who can help you to make the right food choices without depriving yourself. And finally, aim to exercise 30 to 60 minutes most days of the week and set realistic goals regarding weight loss by aiming for a half pound to a pound a week. Now, making the right lifestyle choices could reverse your diabetes or prevent pre-diabetes from progressing further, but there is no guarantee. Even if it doesn't work for you, losing weight could mean fewer medications along with more energy and a healthier body, all good stuff. Bottom line, it's important that you try to achieve your best health possible. For 7 Action News, I'm Dr. Parthanandi.